Trace a wire run through any residential, commercial, or industrial job site and you will discover one of the most critical electrical components in the business, the humble connector. Wherever you find wire, you'll find electrical connectors. And as far as power connections go, the mechanical connector is one of the most efficient methods of splicing, terminating, or tapping electrical wire. In this module, we will define the three primary functions of connectors. You will learn the unique characteristics of mechanical connectors and how they differ from other connector types. We will review the standards that apply to mechanical connectors and will demonstrate important steps for the proper installation of these connectors. The term connector is used to describe all devices used to connect electrical conductors. Connectors serve three primary functions splicing or joining two similar or dissimilar cable ends together, terminating or preparing a wire or conductor for use with some electrical component or device, and tapping or transferring power from one circuit to form an additional circuit. There are two broad categories of connectors, mechanical and compression. Mechanical connectors are pressure type connectors that use the pressure or torque applied to one or more tightening members to force the conductors into a reliable connection. Compression connectors use a high force, normally generated by a tool, to squeeze the connector onto the conductor. Here's how the two types compare. Compression connectors often must closely match the cable size they're used on. Mechanical connectors can accommodate a wider range of conductor sizes, helping to reduce the number of connectors that must be inventoried. This feature is referred to as range taking. The multi-port design of some mechanical connectors allows a single connector to terminate many different size cables while a different compression connector would be required for each individual cable size. Mechanical connectors require no dies to inventory, so less hardware is required. Compression connectors require specific tools and dies, which must be available on the job site. Installing mechanical connectors is less labor-intensive than compression. There are fewer parts, which equates to less time on the job resulting in installation cost savings, an important consideration for contractors. Unlike compression connectors, mechanical connectors are reversible and reusable. ILSCO tests their connectors to ensure they perform to applicable UL, ANSI, and CSA standards. One of the most important considerations is that copper connectors should only be used with copper conductors. Aluminum connectors can generally be used with both aluminum or copper conductors. The marking on the connector will show if the connector is dual rated for use with either aluminum or copper conductors. This will be a mark of AL9CU or AL7CU. The marking on the connector should always be considered before use. Let's review a few of these common standards applicable to mechanical connectors. The UL486A-B power standard applies to connectors used with copper or aluminum conductors. It is intended to ensure that connectors will make a reliable connection when used with certain size solid and stranded conductors specified in the standard. All standard connectors are tested at 90 or 75 degrees centigrade. Copper connectors are assumed to meet the 90 degree test standard and are not required to be marked as such. UL requires that aluminum connectors carry a temperature rating mark. Connectors may carry one of the following rating marks. These ANSI standards, ANSI is the American National Standards Institute, are similar to UL486A-B standards, but are applicable to the utility industry. Be aware that there are other standards that apply to various types of connectors. For more information on these, we provided links to detailed UL information.
The Ilsco Mechanical Connector line includes these product families. Aluminum Mechanical Copper Mechanical Insulated Mechanical Insulation Piercing Connectors Tap Connectors Splicers Reducers and Aluminum Neutral Ground Bars. As with all electrical components, following recommended installation guidelines will assure safe, long-term, reliable connections. Begin by selecting the proper size connector. Determine the proper size connector using the ILSCO catalog and the conductor size ranges described there. Next, strip the conductor's insulation according to proper installation instructions. Using a wire brush, clean any oxide from the connector and conductor. Before inserting the wire into the connector, a deoxide compound should be applied to either the connector or the conductor. ILSCO Deox limits the exposure to air between the conductor and connector, inhibiting future oxidization. Deox may be used from minus 30 degrees to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and can be used on copper or aluminum conductors. Insert the wire into the connector with one conductor per opening unless otherwise indicated. Tighten the connector to the recommended torque. Refer to the appropriate torque values chart for either mechanical or socket head screw connectors.